building confidence and credibility through transparency and professionalism. This is the Constabulary Communication Network, lifting our standards through communication. Who let the dogs out? Who? Animals have been used to help mankind on many occasions and in many professions. Birds for carrying news, wolves for pulling sleeves, and in the case of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, dogs are used to help police officers serve, protect, and reassure. The JCF has recently put together a police canine team like no other and are ready to take on the challenges ahead. On the 18th of October 2011 to be exact, we rolled out this program. We anticipated a 13 months um, time frame, but um, I ca I'm happy to say that in, in, in one year, to be exact, we have completed the training. In another year, we'll be ready for international status. And through that year period, we will have to do all the work we can. So we're looking forward to that. I was the overall instructor, trainer for the team. I trained both of them, both handlers and canines in their scenting work. We started with assessing a, a group of dogs to find which dogs were the best. We moved on then to doing agility work, obedience work, and then we started our scenting work. Um, so that was, my, that was my contribution. I did all the training of these wonderful handlers. <laughs> Cadavers are people, deceased human beings. Mm -hmm. We also call it human remains detection, which is, it can be, when you say human remains, it doesn't have to be a whole body. A whole body is a cadaver. But human remains will be a leg or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. So that, that is the difference between the two. But we do formally call it hum, human remains detection search. So we started first, as I said, we started with the choosing the right dogs. Mm -hmm. We then moved on to obedience work and agility, because the dogs have to learn how to run across bridges and go up ladders and do all kind of wonderful things. Um, we then went on to the more serious part, which was scenting work and tracking, so that the dogs would be able to track a human and, and also be able to scent and find um, human remains. In cases where a body will be the likely outcome of a search, cadaver dogs are used rather than standard search and rescue dogs. Why? Because a search and rescue dog is trained to find living humans and not detect decomposing flesh. A detection dog or sniffer dog is a dog that is trained to use and works by using its senses, almost always the sense of smell, to detect substances such as explosives, illegal drugs or blood. Although this team is relatively new within the Jamaica Constabulary Force, it has already proven itself to be highly efficient and will continue to produce excellent results in the coming years. Well, let's start with the appreciation. First, talk, hats off to Mrs. Brian because we all came in this not knowing anything. We're naive towards the canine. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to see you, you take a dog that is wild and you can allow him to be governed by your command without even touching him. The team so, has done well and as a team leader I am really proud of myself. I think I did a good job and my team is the top team in the Caribbean so I have a lot to be proud about. So, um